Hello, my name is Chan Stunlop. I'm here today at APEC 2014 in Dallas, Fort Worth, showcasing our new fourth generation digital power products, the ISL 8270 and ISL 8271. Now these devices shown are a 25 amp and a 33 amp digital power device in an encapsulated module format. This allows you to place them on the board and just use an input cap and an output cap and that completes your entire power supply design. The advantage of these products is you have complete digital control. Through the use of a PM bus interface, you can do complex sequencing, full control, and product setup. So on the left here, we have the ISL 8270, which is a 25 amp digital power module. So within this device is incorporated the fourth generation controller, the inductor, the drivers, and the MOSFETs, and all the small signal passives. So all you require is the input cap, and the output cap and the IC, and that completes your entire power supply. In the middle here is the Zeo 8800. This is the fourth generation digital controller that powers these modules. This is set up as a demo board with two separate outputs. Each one is capable of up to 30 amps. And on the far right is the ISO 8271. This device is a 33 amp module, similar to ISO 8270, pin compatible, just a higher current rating. You'll notice all the boards are connected and we just push them together and they're connected to the Intersol dongle that converts a USB to PM bus signal that allows us to control all the devices through the Power Navigator GUI. So let's take a look at the Power Navigator software. <coughs> so what we have running here is a new Power Navigator GUI that's available on Intersol.com. You can download it for free and right away you can go in and configure any power architecture you want. Through a simple drag and drop process, you can configure your power map. So we have a 12 volt supply coming in and we have four separate outputs configured. Things such as sequencing then become graphical and you can just point and click, you can drag and change any of your timing patterns around as needed by the system. And because this is all stored on board in memory, you can make changes at any point in development without the need for a soldering iron or a PCB change. Once the device is set up, we have the products running, and as you can see, you can monitor every aspect of the power supply through the GUI. So those four outputs, we have running 1.2 volts, a 1 volt, 2.4, and 3.3 volt output voltages. All the information that you ever want on your power supply is graphically displayed, showing output current, input voltage, temperature, switching frequencies, and even duty cycle. And then of course, you can go into each screen and automatically configure and set up any other changes you would require. If you'd like any more information on the digital power product shown, please visit intersoul.com power.